Hello and welcome to PWPL's Did You Know series. I'm Youth Services Librarian Sarah Rayborg and this series is to give you parents and educa educators a brief overview of the different digital databases and online resources available to you through your library. This segment of Did You Know is on the Mel Resource Britannica School. So in all of these little videos, I'm going to show you how to navigate to the resources. You're going to need to go to our homepage, pwpl.info, and go here to eLibrary. Scroll down and find MEL, which is Michigan eLibrary, and click on that link. Then it will bring you to the MEL homepage. We're going to go straight to kids right here. So this has a lot on it, which you are more than welcome to explore at any point. You have contact your library, we have e-resources, educators, there's a lot here. Today we're just gonna start with Britannica. So Britannica has four different parts to it. There's Britannica Fundamentals is pre-K through second grade. Britannica School Elementary is third and fourth. Britannica School Middle is fifth through seventh, and then there is also a Britannica High School that I will show you. So some of the key features of Britannica. It has leveled reading. It's very easy to switch between your elementary, middle, and high school platforms. As a parent educator, you can create a free account, and that free account allows you to create a resource pack, which you can then convert into a lesson plan. You can browse other lesson plans created by other users. It's very easy to add items to your resource pack and Britannica pulls from a lot of sources. So you're gonna be able to find videos, articles, web pages, and those lessons plans, as I said, are shareable. So if you are teaching with a friend or you want to share resources between each other, you can just send that lesson plan to a friend. Students can also create a free account and it's a great idea to do that because then they can save their articles that they find into their own resource list. They're able to work up citations and you're able to share links. So it's really cool. We're gonna start here with Britannica Fundamentals. So that's pre-K through second grade. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of each of these resources so you can see if it, Britannica is something you want to try to use. First thing I'm gonna show you is right here, we have this audio button. That means that Anytime I click on something, it's going to read it for the student, like this. Read. Okay. And then you can go here, and we're going to click on animals, and this is going to open a book. Animals. In this book, you will discover interesting things about animals, learn new words, and some fun. To turn that speaker off, all you have to do is click on this audio button and it'll mute it. As you know, K through second graders aren't probably independently reading yet, especially not these kinds of words. So having that turned on is a great way to allow a student to work their way through a book and work their way through some learning without needing the parent to sit right there and read to them. It's easy to navigate and it's an interactive kind of book here. You can also explore, which has biomes of the world. There is a play option and a create option, okay? So that's Britannica Fundamentals. We're gonna go back to the Britannica School Elementary. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is actually how to access the quick change between the different grade levels. So you're gonna click here, Britannica School, and it's gonna bring you to this really fun little homepage for Britannica where you have your little sprout at elementary and your sapling at middle and moving on to becoming a full tree at your high school level. So we're gonna go here into elementary. This did you know is curated by Britannica and it will change on a regular basis what is being highlighted here on this did you know and then down here we have our breakup of the different sections of media available so you'll actually see you can go to articles you can go to media there's a world atlas biographies etc you know geography comparing countries so if we click on media it's then going to break it down by subject okay so we can go to plants and living things 
and we can click on this video. We can play it. And so we also have the words down here if anybody wants to read it. Right along here is how you can favorite, email, site, hyperlink, add to classroom. Okay, so this is where having a free account comes in handy. I click star, we should be able to see it in just a moment here in my favorited content. So right here, I'm gonna to go to my content and I am logged in as an educator right now. And we can see right here are all of my favorites. Bacteria, human anatomy, voting rights for women are some of the ones that I went through and starred. And then you can create a resource pack over here as an educator and you can easily edit and add content to that. So you can go here, fill in the fill fields you want, select grades, enter description. You can also add to a resource pack straight from the content over here in school. So easy to do, easy to use. The hyperlink options in most of the articles and videos are also great because even if you don't want to use Britannica as your school resource pack as, as what you're using to keep all of your information together, you can hyperlink and say you're using Google Classroom, you can hyperlink it straight into your Google Classroom and then all you have to do is click on that hyperlink in your classroom and it'll bring you right here to your resource. Okay, so you don't have to use the resource packs in Britannica by any means. You can use whatever school content organizer that you are using. So we're going to go here and I'm going to go to the middle school. It's going to be very similar, except that the grade level is increasing. Okay, so much more text heavy. It's going to have the same kind of breakdown of articles, images, biographies, world atlas, etc. Once again, these things are going to change this right here. The highlighted thing will change on a regular basis. Um, and there's lots of lots of different breakdowns here. So you can explore, uh, let's, let's look at comparing countries. So you choose a country. I'm just gonna choose a couple of countries and you can explore and compare countries, which is pretty cool. And then you can click between articles and media and stats. So it's showing you stats, but then, hey, I would like some citable arg articles and there you go. And we're going to pop over into high school real quick as well. So again, we're going to see the same kind of breakdowns of different things, just at a much higher reading level, okay? There's of course a search function for all of these where you can say you are searching for a specific thing if you don't wanna be browsing. Um, if you need something specific, you know, we can search. Life processes, okay? So that is Britannica School. Just really quick about it. And the other thing I wanted to tell you about is that Britannica actually has a Chrome extension. So if you use Chrome, you can go here and do Britannica, Britannica extension. And you can install Britannica extension to your Chrome browser. What that allows is when your student is doing a Google search, Instead of showing Wikipedia hits, it'll show you Britannica hits. Britannica is going to be a much better authoritative resource than Wikipedia. Uh, it has a lot of source documents, a lot of articles, various different online resources that are authoritative that your students can trust and learn to winnow out the difference between good resources and less than trustworthy resources. Okay, all of these resources I'm gonna show you in, this, in these video segments are ones that it'll take a little bit of time to learn how to use. So hopefully watching this brief overview will give you an idea if you think Britannica is a good fit for you, for your students, and for your style of learning and teaching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. We're happy to help if we can. There is an easy contact youth services right here on our homepage. Down at the bottom, you can contact these services either by email or by phone. Check out Britannica, see if it works for you. Thank you for watching Britannica Did You Know with Peter White Public Library.